The Buffalo Bisons traveled on the road this past week and came out with a series victory. With this road trip recap presented by Student Transportation of America, I'm Pat Malacaro. The Buffalo Bisons won four out of six games in the team's final road trip of the 2024 season after a lopsided loss in the opening night in Gwinnett. Day two of the series saw Buffalo upend the Stripers in what was the longest game of the season for Buffalo, scoring first thanks to Jonathan Classe in the fourth inning, had a base hit, stole a couple of bases, and a throwing error as he stole third allowed him to score, giving the Bisons a 1-0 lead. They would take that all the way to extra innings in a 1-1 contest, Buffalo scoring twice in the top of the 10th. Gwinnett once again with the answer, 3-3 as they went to the top of the 11th inning. The Bisons' only 11-inning game was a loss earlier in the season, but not this time. Three runs in the top of the 11th included Rafael Antigua collecting an RBI double that was preceded by an Allen Roden RBI base hit. In his second at-bat of the game, Roden gave Buffalo the lead, a lead they would not surrender in the 11th, and a 6-3 victory. Hagen Danner pitched two innings of relief for the Bisons in the 9th and the 10th, allowing the team to pick up the victory. He notches the W, and for Dylan Tate, he pitched the 11th, a scoreless frame with a strikeout, recording his first save in a Bisons uniform and helping Buffalo split the first two games of the series. The next day, Buffalo would again pick up the win against the Stripers, although Gwinnett would strike first. After Gwinnett opened up a 1-0 lead in the fourth inning, the Bisons had the answer. Gwinnett tried keeping pace with the Herd. In the sixth inning, Jonathan Classe with a one-out base hit, stole second and eventually would score what would be the tying run. Again, it's Allen Roden coming through with an RBI base hit. Then one inning later, Rafael Antigua with the Bisons trailing by a run, led off the frame with a walk. And it'd be a sacrifice fly off the bat of Damiano Palmagiani that tied the game at two. And then an Allen Roden solo home run leading off the top of the eighth was the difference in the game. Eric Pardino securing the victory for Buffalo. And Brandon Isert pitched the final two frames, the eighth and the ninth, giving up just one hit and a walk with a strikeout and recording the save with the Bisons. The Herd again winning their second straight game against Gwinnett. Day three of the series, again, it was late offense as the Bisons and Stripers would go to the sixth inning without a score. James Caprillion was dominant on the mound for Buffalo. Five and a third inning, scattering just two hits, struck out six along the way, eventually securing his third victory of the year and his first road win with the Bisons this season. It'd be an Allen Roden one-out base hit. And a couple of batters later, Josh Kasevich, who had a big hand in the series, one of his three hits, his third of the day, produced the game's first run, giving the Bisons the 1-0 lead at the time. They would tack on two more runs in the seventh. Damiano Pomagiani, a leadoff base hit. He would score on a Stuart Barroa double. And then one batter later, Bo Bichette, who was on a Major League Injury Rehab assignment with the Bisons. Bichette would have the RBI single. He would have a base hit in all four games that he played for Buffalo, including his first RBI with the team that would help put Buffalo over the top in their win for the third straight time. Not only did Caprillion pick up the win for Dylan Tate, his second straight save in as many appearances for Buffalo, and the bullpen once again solid. Mason Fluharty, Andrew Bash combining for two and two-thirds of scoreless relief, and then Tate did give up a run in the ninth, but helped to hold on for Buffalo as they would secure their third straight victory. Their final road win of the season would come on Saturday night at Gwinnett as the Stripers would strike first. A run in the bottom of the third inning that was answered by Buffalo and once again Luis Quinones in relief of Trenton Wallace who was very good would pick up his 11th win of the season. Back to Wallace for a moment. Five innings giving up just one hit and that one earned run. Walked three but struck out three. Another solid performance building off the last couple of outings for the left-hander and back to Quinones. The first Bison pitcher in the modern era to win 11 straight decisions as he is now 11-0, one inning of scoreless relief with a strikeout as well. And then the Bison offense would go to work with a run of the fourth inning. Josh Kasevich, one of his two hits on the day, three straight multi-hit games for the first-year AAA infielder as he would score the first Bison's run of the night on a Damiano Pomagiani infield ground out. The Herd scoring three more times in the top of the seventh. Stuart Baroa scoring on a Beau Bichette RBI double. And then Allen Roden once again, Clubs a line drive home run over the right field wall. His second homer this series, helping him earn Bison's Player of the Week honors and helping catapult Buffalo to their fourth straight victory. The bullpen once again solid. Braden Fisher, Hagen Danner, and Hayden Yinger all combining to go the final three frames for Fisher, Yinger, and Danner. Scoreless relief. Yinger a couple of strikeouts in his performance. And for Danner, notching his seventh save of the year to lead the Bison's pitching staff. 
A series finale victory was not in the cards for Buffalo, but once again, Josh Kasovich had a hand in the Bison's offense. A solo home run leading off the top of the second inning. Buffalo would get on the scoreboard first. Gwinnett would have the last laugh, however, as they would strike for six straight runs on their way to the victory, taking two of six from Buffalo. A winning road trip for the Bisons as they now head home for the final six games of the 2024 regular season, hosting the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. It'll be a great week at Salem Field, including the final fiesta on Wednesday night as the Bisons become the Luce State Buffalo one final time as part of the Copa de la Diversión program, celebrating the Latin American and Hispanic heritage, not only of Western New York, but of baseball in Western New York as the Bisons become the Luce State Buffalo. And then on Friday night, Fan Appreciation Night with giveaways every single inning, including game-worn and sometimes autographed jerseys, promotions from our great partners throughout the course of the season, and you'll want to be at the ballpark for the final Honda Friday Night Bash of the season with the Resurgence Brewing Happy Hour post-game fireworks show. Saturday, not too early for Halloween, as we'll give away candy as kids can come in costume and get their trick-or-treating in a month early. And then on Sunday, the final game of the 2024 regular season for Buffalo, which will be a family fun day Sunday, which includes the final post-game Kids Run the Bases presented by Platter's Chocolates. For this road trip recap presented by Student Transportation of America, I'm Pat Melicaro.